strangers. Feels like it's been forever. I ah, hope everybody had a fantastic break and a nice little holiday from the norm, whatever that may have looked like this year. I know it was a little different for everybody, but I hope it was restful and peaceful. And uh, I hope that maybe you took, you know, maybe a little extra rest day. I know it's like, ooh, don't say that, but you know, you gotta listen to your body. Sometimes that's what your body needs is an extra day. So I personally took two days off in a row, which I can't even remember the last time I did. And uh, it felt good, you know. I definitely was ready for some movement after that, but it did feel really good. So, you know, don't get into that shame cycle of, um, you know, I can't take an extra rest day. Uh, I lived in it a long time. I still fight it a little bit. Just know it's okay. Listen to your body. Give, me what, give it what it needs. All right, guys, so what we are going to need for our workout today is one to two heavy hand weights. Uh, we will definitely use one, uh, depending on how you feel about some of the exercises, you might need a pair. So we need one to two heavy hand weights. You're going to need two medium hand weights and some space on the wall and your yoga mat and your or floor support, whatever it is that you use to make yourself comfortable in the floor. So again, one to two heavy hand weights, two medium hand weights, a little bit of space on the wall, and yoga mat or whatever you use for floor support. And that's all you need today. Nothing too crazy. So what we are going to do is that we're going to revisit a workout we've done a couple times called 54321. For those of you that is new to that concept, it's Pretty straightforward. It's you work for five minutes, take a long break, four minutes, pretty long break, three minutes, longer break, two minutes, one minute, the breaks get shorter as the work gets shorter. So, pretty cool way to work out. It's nice. You don't have to keep up with reps. You're just going for time. One minute, one minute, one minute. It tells you when to take a break. The timer tells you when to take your long break between sets. So, it's a nice way just to kind of get out of that counting, and again, another way to just learn how to use our bodies differently. So our theme today is full body, and we're gonna do a leg set, an arm set, a kind of grab bag set, a la, 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 core set, I don't know why I couldn't think of that word, a core set, and then the last minute is gonna be core too. So we're gonna go legs, arms, Wrap bag, core, core, okay? So, it's gonna be a full body workout, a lot of good work, and I think you'll really enjoy it if you haven't done it before. So we're gonna move quickly, I'm gonna to try to keep my chatter short, and that way we can get through this three times, that's my goal. Um, with the breaks and everything, it's a little tough, but again, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut um, and move through this quickly. So, again, timer not reps, we're moving quickly, modify it as you need it. If you don't know how, shoot me a message, a comment, whatever it is, let me know. I'd be happy to help you modify. Uh, no music, play, whatever feels good to you, whatever gets you grooving. Um, I did have to move my fan a little closer because it is so well to rain in Tennessee, it's July. So I hope that's not too distracting. I'll watch the video back just to make sure it's not too bad. Um, as always, I'll be checking Facebook for questions before we get started in between each set just to make sure that everything's all good, videos running, answer any questions. And as always, I just ask that you share these workouts, share my page. Um, if not on Facebook, you can also do um, YouTube. You can subscribe or share my YouTube link with family and friends that aren't interested in social media. Um, anything to just get the word out and encourage people to get moving, um, especially now that we're starting to see um, more cases surge. For those who are watching this later on, these videos were filmed um, while the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, pandemic was occurring. So um, as the cases are getting higher, I'm worried we're gonna be coming back inside. So definitely get this out for people who might be looking for workouts later on or anytime. And lastly, if you would like to Venmo any donations for this workout, at Strong Style Fit is where you will find me and I would be happy to accept those from you in other ways if you are not a Venmo person. So just let me know and we will work something out. All right, guys, so we're gonna start with the lower body. So lower body, I don't have any weights necessarily built into the exercise. So we're gonna do five different exercises, 
Feel free to grab weights if you want to. For some, I probably will. For others, I won't because of my knee sensitivities. So feel free. Just grab it if you want it. If you don't want it, rock and roll. It's whatever you want to do. It's going to be a great workout regardless. So have a weight close by in case you want it. Um, I'm going to tell you where we start because once I hit the start button, timer starts and we're off to the races. So we're going to start with a goblet squat. Goblet squat is feet usually a little bit wider than hip width apart. Toes are going to point out, not like sumo, way out. Just a little bit of flare out. If you're going to hold a weight, you hold it to your chest here, like a goblet, or you would hold it here like a bow tie. You're going to squat. If you can, touch your knee to your elbows and come up. Now that's your stretch goal. I probably won't be doing that, but if you can, knock it out. Let's do it. So that's where we're going to start. I'll walk you through the rest as we go. The first round's a little herky-jerky just because you've got to learn what we're going to be doing, but after that, we'll be moving through them. All right, I'm going to take a drink of water. I know I'm talking really fast, but I want to make sure we have time to get through everything. So go ahead and get your goblet squat set up. I'm going to check the camera. Beautiful. All right, so get that goblet squat set up. And I'm going to hit start. I'm going to tell you when I hit start because it's going to take me a second or two to get back over here and get started. All right, guys, so get started with your goblet squat in three, two, and one. Goblet squat, let's go. Flare. If you're holding a weight, make sure your shoulders are backing down. And come down. such a nice way to work too because you actually probably will get more reps than you normally do but it feels like it goes fast because you're not focused on counting just make sure that since we're not counting you don't take that opportunity to move super fast through the exercises those of you that work out with me know I'm not a fan of quick reps I like the one two three four that's kind of where you want to be working so, I'm not counting with you. Don't let that make you go crazy, okay? All right, so I'm gonna do alternating back lunge or alternating front lunge, whichever one you prefer. I'm more comfortable in the knees going backwards. You're welcome to go forwards too. If you were to hold weights, you would just hold them down by your side. So back to your lunge and forward. Anyone new to working out with me, I have some pretty severe knee arthritis. Um, it actually is getting better from cutting some dairy on my diet, but they ain't what they used to be. <laughs> so I'm always going to be careful, always mindful. I know lunges are really compromising for me, so I generally don't do weight with a lunge. Lost my balance for a second. All right, we're doing sumo squat. Sumos, wide, wide legs. Really, really wide. Toes point out. If you're holding a weight, you're gonna hold it low like this. Knees flare open. And we drop down. Oh, that's so funny. So I have a new pair of pants on, which, Jesus take the wheel. I don't know why I decided to put on new pants for a live video. They're not as stretchy as I'm used to. So I feel like I'm hitting a rubber band with my knees every time I go down in these squats. That's hilarious. <sighs> new workout pants are like the scariest test, right? There's so many things that can go wrong. And it's so hard to find just the right pair. All right, we're gonna do alternating curtsy lunge. So if you've never done a curtsy lunge, think about playing princess, where you step back and pull out your little skirts, but no little skirts required, okay? <laughs> so we just step back to the center, back into the center. 
center. I like to sort of add the arms on, but it's optional just to get that upper body moving a little bit. But it's totally optional. I do love, I always use the example of the princess skirts and I love in group fitness classes if I have a lot of new people and I use that and everybody's doing these fancy little princess arms together. It's so awesome. <laughs> All right, last thing we have, one minute wall sit. Come to your wall. You're gonna drop it low, back against that wall. If you find you have a hard time getting your back against the wall, it's all booty, and you're bubbling out, press your shoulders back, tuck your hips under, make a long spine, and then roll your spine down onto the wall. That'll get your whole spine on the wall instead of having that kind of bubble butt where it's just your butt, everything else is hanging forward. <sighs> so how was your day? <laughs> Let's talk. <sighs> good, good. So this is going to be the end of our five minutes of leg work, and then we're going into all upper body after this for the four minutes. We will have about, looks like a minute break, and then we'll go to the upper body. All right, so we got one minute break here. Let's catch your breath, grab your drink of water. We will be starting with an overhead press. That's gonna be our first upper body movement. We're gonna go overhead press, overhead press, reverse fly, row, bicep curl. You wanna challenge yourself to go heavy? This might be the time with a minute of work probably don't want to go for your max. So if you're at your max, you should only be able to do eight, six to eight. So probably not the time when you've got a minute of work to go for your max. But you can always give it a shot. Switch to a lighter weight if you have it available. No harm with that, right? All right, so we've got our overhead press coming up. And get yourself set up, put those weights. Shoulders down, we lift to goal posts, and straight up. Remember, don't take this opportunity to fly through your reps. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's about where you want to be. Make sure you're keeping that core nice and tight. Protect that spine. It's my first upper body work in quite some time. So I thought I'm gonna go on the safer end, at least until I get warmed up here. We've got just under 15 seconds. Almost there. Perfect. All right, we got reverse fly. Going right to it. So we'll set our booty back just a little bit. Proud chest comes forward. And those little beach ball arms. We open. Open. are working on the slightly heavier end. And for me, this is about my heaviest reverse fly. You can also slow your reps down a little bit. Now, you don't want to go so slow that there's 10 seconds between every rep, but you can slow it down. My only other option is to go five pounds lighter, and that's way too light. So I don't want to go there. So I'm just going to slow it down a little bit with the 15s. All right, so we've got our rows. Positioning's going to be the same. Set ourselves back, proud chest forward, arms come forward, straight past our side. Squeezing through that back.
those big back muscles. Really think about squeezing them tight when you pull back. Elbows lead. From here, we've got 20 seconds. We're going to go bicep curls. Make sure you're breathing. Almost there. All right, we've got bicep curls. It's going to turn those weights forward. Or you can do hammer curl. Your choice. Elbows lock into those sides, shoulders back and down. Now, I'm always going to be coaching at the beginning of each transition. So, don't wait till I start talking or stop talking to start working. You start working while I'm talking. Notice that it's usually about 10 seconds before I get into the work. So, don't lose that 10 seconds. Needed a little wake up call after being a dormant for a while. My last workout was lower body. So it's been a minute. It's been about four or five days since I've worked upper body exclusively. All right, that's our rest. It's a little bit shorter, it's 45 seconds. So we're going to go into kind of our grab bag. Um, just the things that we didn't quite hit lower body or upper body in the previous two sets. So we're going to do a Spider-Man push-up. We are going to do, oh, what did I decide? Some weighted mule kicks. And we're going to do a bridge with a skull crusher. So, sorry, I had to pause for a minute. I had something new to try and work out, and I realized the setup took far too long. <laughs> I was halfway through the minute before I was even set up. So I had to, on the fly, change my, change my mind. All right, Spider-Man push-up. We're going to do on the wall. Unless you're just a rock star, in fact, I'm going to pause. Because we've only done these once before. It was pretty recent, though. So unless you were just a monster rock star, you won't do these on the floor. You have your option. It'll look just like I do on the wall, so I'm just going to show you on the wall. So we're going to come to the wall. Hand shoulder width. Wide starfish hands. We're going to stand a little bit on our toes. So remember, the more upright you stand, the less challenge, the more angle you put, the more challenge. We're going to drop down into our push-up, and as we do so, we lift a knee up. So we're like Spider-Man crawling up a wall. So I'm doing a twist because I'm trying to talk to you, but just make sure that every time you drop down, your chest stays flat, that you're not rotating open. Okay. Go ahead and get set up and get started. Now don't pay attention to my little tick. For some reason, at the top of the push-ups on the wall, I usually readjust my hands. Just a little tick. Nothing you need to do. Go. My rule of thumb is I wait 
And so I feel those hamstring and glutes really kick in, and that's where I know to stand. So it's not, can I drop the weights down to my knees or to my ankles? Perfect. Down to the floor. We have got a bridge with a skull crusher. So, you can take one heavy weight here. We're going to go into our bridge. Hold our bridge up. Heavy weight comes up. Arms stay at 11. You just drop elbow to hand. Down. So I felt like our glutes were a little neglected and our legs set. So I added in the bridge and I added in the deadlift. I felt like our triceps were neglected and the arm round. So I added these guys in. And our chest was a little neglected. So I added those push-ups. So that's why I call this the grab bag round. All right, so you can stay on the floor. Our two remaining core exercises and our one minute of core all will be here on the floor. We've got 17 seconds, much quicker break. We're going to do a low plank jack. So low plank, you're on your elbows. And I'll show you the full version and the modified version. I'll be doing the modified. All right, so low plank, we're on our elbows. We lower ourselves down, really engage. Push up through those elbows, hold that core tight. So, your first modification is here. Or here. So, your option, I'm facing the wrong way and I'm kicking into my pile of equipment. <laughs> Really lock in that core, push up, engage through those shoulders. Allow that sweat to come on in. <laughs> Make sure you're keeping that booty low. We tend to, when we start moving our legs, to start creeping up. Make sure you stay nice and low. All right. Bring it onto your back. <sighs> we are going to do waterfall crunch with a cross tap. So we're here and here. We're going to drop our feet, raise our feet here, here. Drop our feet, raise our feet here. And here. So think whole chest rotates, not just here, flopping around. Whole chest over, over. Drop it down. Lift it up. Over, over. If the lower and lift is too much, then just hold the waterfall and do your taps. Okay? All right. Stand low, and we're going to do just a V-sit hold. I say just, it's not just. <laughs> There's a lot happening in that V-sit hold, and I'll show you some variations and some things you can do to sort of distract yourself. That actually makes it a little harder, but it's a nice distraction. So your V-sit, you've got a couple of options. I'm going to turn kind of sideways so you can see me. So V-sit, your fullest version. Chest up tall. Imagine there's a string pulling you to the top. You sit back till you feel that core kick in. That's your base. This is a full V sit. This is a partial. This is modification. Or you can alternate. Or if this isn't enough, that this is too much, you can lightly pull behind your knees. And I mean lightly, not death grip in, okay? Sometimes just having them right there makes you feel stronger. 
you want to hold. Right, start shaking. That's all right. Don't freak out. There's nothing wrong. That's just your body, your muscles trying to grab and hold. Nice. All right, guys, we have There's no break. Oh, that's funny. All right, hold up, hold up. We have a break. So take your break. All right, I will be our timer for our break. <laughs> So we're going to take just about a minute and a minute and a half here, and then we're going to start it back over. Oh, timers. You know, you get what you pay for, and for some reason, even though I use these timers all the time, my brain's like, nope, don't pay for it. Don't pay for it. And I'm sure it's like $1.99, you know? I don't know why my brain is so like, mm-mm. But it is. So there we have it. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to check the video. Check for comments. Make sure we look all good. Hey, Trisha. I hope you're still here, friend. Watching me bubble around with my timer, just like in class days. <laughs> it's like the bane of my existence, me and these timers. All right, guys. So... Great to see you here, Trisha. Thank you for being here. So we're going to go back to the top. Five minutes of leg work. We've got the goblet squat, the alternating lunge, the sumo squat, alternating curtsy lunge, and the wall sit. Remember, weights are optional. Throw them in if you want them. Leave them out if you don't need them. And we'll get started. So I'm going to walk over the timer. I'm going to tell you when to get going. So let's go in three, two, and one. Let's get started. Goblet squat. Take those toes wide, feet wide, shoulders back and down. Engage that core, belly sits back, up. Imagine you're zipping up your legs. Boom, when you stand up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It's amazing the extra work you can get just by giving it a little squeeze yourself. Which, gosh, that probably sounds really inappropriate. <laughs> Funny. But it's true, it's true. <laughs> Give yourself a little engagement and you will get a wonderful response from those muscles. We got 10 seconds. Went to alternating back lunges or alternating forward lunges. Your choice. Beautiful. All right. Alternating lunges. If you're going to hold weights, hold them down by your side. Knees are waking up a little bit. Joints are waking up a little bit. Give a little bit of fluid to them. Yes. Now, most of my work with taking those rest days in the middle has been back-to-back -back bike riding. So lifting, this kind of movements my muscles are like, hang on, we need to think for a minute. <laughs> Reminding me I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> but you know what? I don't want to be 20 again, y'all. Woo. No thank you. <laughs> I am perfectly happy where I am. Alright, we've got sumo squat. We go wide. Wide, wide. Toes pointed out. Knees are tracking out. Over your toes. Shoulders back and down. Open up. So just make sure those knees are pointing the same direction as your toes. If you're really tight in the hips, that might be hard. Your knees might start folding in. Your knees are folding in. No bueno. We don't do this exercise if our knees fold in. We work probably back in the goblet, 
So we're going to open up those hips some. And we do some hip stretches. We got to be able to let those knees really flare out when we do these sumo squats. Keep that chest tall. We tend to do this. <laughs> we have weights in our hands. All right, alternating. Curtsy lunge. So, big princess, step back. Good. I keep looking back. So I've got equipment on both sides of me. Definitely some good booty work here. Some good quad work here. Now remember, as far as modifications go, it's usually depth. So never squat into pain. Never lunge into pain. Work in the depth that isn't painful. And then hopefully, by building that strength, you'll naturally be able to start going lower. All right. One minute wall set. Grab your favorite piece of wall. Sink it down. So remember, flat back on that wall. Pick those hips up, tuck it, roll it back. Like I gotta say, I'll distract us. Um, new workout pants. So far, so good. Like I said, they're a little uh, less stretchy than I'm used to. So there's definitely some like rebound in them. <laughs> But overall, not rolling too bad here. They're a little thicker than I'm used to, probably hence the stretchy, but not so stretchy, but that's good. They have pockets, amazing. Um, trying to distract us for 10 more seconds. Ah, so overall, so far, so good. Positive review, positive review. Three, two, one, boom. All right, guys, so we have got our over to press, reverse fly, row, bicep curl. Get a nice lengthy break here. We got about 45 seconds left. It is nice, too, working with the timers. I know I don't do a whole lot, but it is nice because I get to think more about coaching for you guys training for you guys, and not so much about, don't screw up the count, don't screw up the count. <laughs> so, it is nice periodically. You guys know I like to coach and talk and teach, and so it's nice to be able to focus on that and just let the timer do its work. And, and unless I'm fighting it, which is probably what's happening too. All right guys, 10 seconds, get set up. We got overhead press. All right, let's do it. Lock that core in, load it up, and we push. Keep that tail tucked. So I know I'm a horrible culprit of this, that when I stand and lift heavy, I start to let my butt stick out behind me. Sort of a counterbalance almost. So really think about tucking that tailbone down and engage in that core instead. Gives you a much stronger base. You might feel weaker at first, honestly, if you're used to standing the other way, but over time, it's a much more powerful way to stand. Trust me, I know it's not easy. I default to that duck butt when I lift all the time. I have to constantly remind myself, keep it in check. Woo. All right, so we've got those reverse flies, set back, crouch chest, beach ball arms, we open. Now remember, this is a, where you'll see me doing it, but feel free to do it at any time. If your weight selection is where it's way too light if I go down, but also a minute is a long time to go with this set of weights, just slow your reps down a little bit. So you don't want to take, you know, 10 seconds between your reps. 
and add an extra second, two seconds. That allows you to keep going with the weight you got. Do it. Trust me, it's not cheating. Does that look like somebody's cheating? No. Nah. <laughs> All right, we got our rows. Same body position. Little step back, proud chest. Weights come forward. Head in line with that spine. Pull back. Elbows staying close to that rib cage. Squeeze in those back muscles. Rows, we tend to get bunched up more up here. Should be down in that back. So think relaxed shoulders, relaxed neck. Pull through that mid lower back. You got it, guys. We're under 10. All right, bicep curls. I'm gonna go for a hammer curl. Actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna burn it up this way. Commit. Let's go. Now we've reached the portion of the workout where I'm sweating in my eyes and thinking, why do I always put on a little mascara when I go to work out for these videos? You know what it's gonna end up like. How do you do it, Tracy? Elbows locked in. No momentum. No using weight. No body to swing it. All muscle. Get a nice break after this. Awesome. Set those weights down. All right. So we got a three minute grab bag. We've got our Spider-Man push-ups. We're gonna do our double deadlift, and we're gonna do our bridge with skull pressure. So we're working some chest, some booty, some triceps. It's all those things we haven't hit yet. We're gonna scoop them up now. We've got about 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're getting plenty of water, especially if you're working out in less than ideal temperatures like I am. Super important, but it's super important all the time. Water, water, water. All right, Spider-Man push-ups. Let's find that spot on the wall. Shoulders back and down. One wide starfish fingers. We drop down. Leg comes up. It's like your Spider-Man crawling up the wall. I think I have Spider-Man on this shirt. Do I have Spider-Man on this shirt? I don't think I do. <laughs> it's funny, last time I did Spider-Man, push-ups, and Superman's in the same workout. And unintentionally, I also put on a Marvel shirt. <laughs> Good guys, almost there. Woo! All right, we've got our heavy deadlift. Perfect, perfect. Feet underneath hips, bend in those knees. We drop down, iron those pants. Squeeze to stand. Flat back takes you down. Squeeze it up. Weight super close to those legs. You're literally ironing your pants. Good 
guys, almost there. All right, bring it down to the floor. Beautiful, we're gonna do that bridge, the skull crusher, feet hip width apart, push up to that bridge, arms at 11, tip those shoulders down, squeeze that midsection, drop that weight. So elbow to shoulder stays in place, just dropping from the elbow to hand. Make sure that bridge is staying tall. Don't sacrifice the bridge because you're thinking about upper body only. Beautiful. Bring it down. We got our break. Okay, we got about 22 seconds. Out of the way. So we've got our low plank jack. Whew. Trying to make sure I have room somewhere to do this low plank jack. So we're going to do our low plank jack and, excuse me, then our waterfall lift, the cross touches. All right. Low plank jack. Take it to that low plank. Hips come down. We step out to the side or jack to the middle. Your option. I just can't seem to find enough feet room every direction I go. <laughs> so just make sure you're keeping that booty low. When we move our feet, we tend to start arching up. Feel free to take those feet as wide as you want. I'm a little constricted in my space here.
Ah. Ah, so use this break to think about any exercises that you need to maybe modify this round. Could you go up and wait this round? It's your last round. So if you were getting to the end of a minute, not feeling too exerted, go ahead and try. See if you can lift that weight up a little bit. If you have the option, give it a shot. Just keep the others close by. You need to drop it and go back to the others. Do that. I encourage, encourage, encourage to experiment. See what you can do. We always sell ourselves short in every facet of our lives. So why not try? Especially when you're at home with your own equipment in your own space. Give it a shot. If you can't do it, who cares? Try again in a few weeks. Try again in another workout. It might just be you're having an off day. That definitely happens. So be brave. Give it a shot. Try it out. Mm -hmm. I'm like a pusher of positive things. <laughs> All right, all right. So, we're gonna get started again. I think I see Lisa Hoke. I'm not sure if she's still here, but hey, sister. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am positive you are not working out, and you shouldn't be, because you've probably already worked out seven times today. So, but it's good to see you here. <laughs> all right, so guys, we're gonna go back through one more time. Our five, four, three, two, one. Again, we're starting with that goblet squat. Let's see if we can knock it out, all right? All right. So I'm going to come over here to start the timer. Just listen for my cue. We're going to go in three, two, and one. Get started. All right, so goblet squat. We've got those wider feet, toes pointed out. Not quite sumo. Goblet squat we hold here or in a bow tie. Hips come back. Zip it up to the top. Beautiful weight back towards the back of that foot, middle to the back. You should be able to wiggle your toes. If you're holding a weight, make sure your shoulders are down, away from your ears. Beautiful guys, we got 10 seconds. We're going to those alternating lunges. Either forward or backwards. Next. All right. Just remember, if you're going to hold weights, just hold them down by your side. Ooh, now I can tell uh, even more so those joints are getting a little happier with me. <laughs> That's one thing I've learned. Many of you are also arthritis people in any joint. And uh, it's so good to move those joints. And I know it's the last thing you want to do sometimes. You know, if you've got a joint that's mad, full of arthritis, the last thing you want to do is go move it. But it really makes all the difference. Moving safely now. Hear me out. I don't mean go be crazy. But get with a trainer. I'm happy to help. Or any trainer. If you're choosing and ask them what's safe to get yourself moving again. Make all the difference in the world. Sumo squats. You just gotta move what's safe. Don't expect what will give you prior to feel good right away. It takes work. But it is worth it. Take it from me. With the worst of my arthritis, when it was uncontrolled, I had no idea what was going on. I couldn't get off the toilet or onto the toilet without leaving tears. It was horrible. It hurt so bad, physically and mentally, that I just took some acceptance time and then just started going at it. And now, you know, I'm going to say, look at me now. <laughs> you know, I'm not doing four foot box jumps anymore. But it's just being smart, risk reward. I never thought I'd be able to do my squat and touch the floor. There I am. A curtsy lunge, 100% out of the question. Absolutely not. I couldn't even demonstrate a curtsy lunge. 
without being excruciating pain. So, just hear me out that if you have a painful joint, and you know that it's not an injury, that you need to be resting, things like that, look into safe movements and do it. It will change your life. Honestly, it'll give you your life back. <sighs> That's Tracy's soapbox. <laughs> it's just super important to me. I bring up mine all the time. Really want to so people know they're not alone. So they see what they can do. And they understand that all things are still possible. Alright, we've got wall sit. <sighs> Alright. Gonna get low, pick that booty up, roll that tailbone, and then lay that spine down on the wall. So yeah, it's really just my way of spreading a message of, of hope. You know that because you have joints that are no good or other injuries, you can make it work. I've got knee arthritis. I've got some pretty, pretty medium severity scoliosis. You know, and it's just learning about how to work around it, how to make your body still work for you, and appreciating what you have. I used to be able to box jump up to, you know, about my waist. I can't do that anymore. Well, what was the purpose of that, really? Other than I felt really cool doing it, and it looked awesome, and there's a lot of fun to that, there's a lot of value to that, but in the end, it meant I could walk for the next three days. <laughs> All right, guys, come on up. That's the last of our leg set. We've got upper body next. Over to press, reverse fly, row, press that curl. So yeah, I talk a lot about risk reward. You know, I had, at one point a lot of my friends were runners. And I wanted so desperately to be a runner. I hated it though. <laughs> I hated it. This is before my knees were bad. I hated it. And uh, you know, as my knees got bad, blah, 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 you know, I found another friend in the same position where all of her friends were runners. She started running, even though she didn't have very joints, just so she could hang out with her friends, you know? And we just had to talk a lot about risk reward. What's your reward? I'm doing what my friends are doing. I spend time with my friends. Well, what was the risk? Oh, I'll be able to work out for six weeks. I'll be in a knee brace. Okay. I think I can find better things to do with my friends. Oh. And it's so good to be honest. You never know what somebody else is going through. And you hear that you're going through the same thing. I might change their life, you know? So I will always talk about it. In hopes that I can help somebody. It's one of the reasons why I talk about my weight loss as well. It's not to brag about how much I've lost. This to show people that it's possible with no extra means, no tons of money, no surgery, just hard work. Woo! <sighs> All right. Just hard work and being mindful and learning. You can make huge changes. All right, reverse fly. We sit back, proud chest, beach ball on those arms. We open it up. Definitely stories that I'll never believe if it didn't happen to me. So I like to share them. <sighs> yeah, just to bring hope, encouragement.
wash yourself. Make sure you're not getting all scrunched up around your shoulders. Long neck. Engage those lat muscles. So those long muscles down your back. Elbows straight past those ribs. Under 10. Last one. Nice. All right. Boss up curl. Woo. These bites are starting to feel like two dumb breaks. <laughs> Remember, if these bites are starting to get real heavy, you can slow that rep pace down a little bit. Under 10. Woo. I'm going for one more. Woo. All right, set those weights down. So, we've got our Spider-Man push-up, got our deadlift, got our bridge with skull crusher. I'm going to try to make myself some room for these little planks, too, that are coming up. Since I can't seem to make quite enough room for myself no matter where I go. <sighs> we got 20 seconds. Oh man. Sweet, sweet water. Alright, 10 seconds, friends. Woo! Alright. Set up that Spider-Man. Let's go. Try to drop that chest evenly to the ground. Don't let picking that leg up sway you in one direction or the other. Flat back. Don't let those weights roll you forward. Iron those pants. Weights close, close, close. If you find you have pain in your lower back when you're doing deadlifts, there's a really good chance that your weights are way out away from your body. And when you do that, when those weights get way out like that, then you're just dangling into your lower back to support all that weight. All right. We've got our bridge with our skull crusher. Hopefully you're already there. Bridge it up. Shoulders down. Should be talking. Check it 
from that bridge. Make sure your hips are lifted. Booty squeezed. Belly tight. Drive into the back of those feet. Not upon your toes. If you're feeling your quads really working here, you're probably up on your toes. All right. Whew. Almost there, guys. We got three minutes of work left. All right, I'll try again to clear space for my plank jacks. We'll see. <laughs> One last shot, get the sweat out of my eyes. We got five seconds. Go ahead and get yourself set up and ready. All right, low plank. Hips low. Up through those shoulders. Tuck that belly in. You're breathing. Stay low. Woo, sweating in my eyes so bad. <laughs> So that's really my goal in all of this, 
is just to show you guys just what you're capable of with even the smallest amount of equipment. With a big heart, and a big spirit, and a big drive, what you can really accomplish. So, I thank you so much for joining me on this, my 29th Facebook Live workout. I know there's people out there doing a lot more than that, but for me, considering the schedule that I juggle, I am blown away that I'm on 29. I'm so proud to still be here with you guys. So, as always, I just ask that you share these workouts, share my page, share my posts, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. First and foremost, I'm super interested in building up that. So I'd love for you to join me over on YouTube and give me a little subscribe. All my videos that I post live are usually posted within the same day to YouTube, but not the same day, it'll be the next day. Um, when I do weeknights, it's probably gonna be the next morning before I get them posted. Saturdays, I usually get them posted the same day. So please join me there and direct people there if you'd like. And as always, lastly, if you do care to send me any donations for these videos, this is the only payment I receive, so they are definitely welcomed and appreciated. You can Venmo me at Strong Style Fit, or if you prefer to do something else, just let me know. So guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you all. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you in just a few days for our next workout. Take care.